Good afternoon, I'm Kim Baez. It was another round of immigrant rights groups versus Governor Susana Martinez. Today, the two sides met in Santa Fe District Court to deal with Martinez's controversial order last month, making foreign nationals who have New Mexico driver's licenses prove they actually live here. News 13's Scotty Daniels is in the Newsplex with more. Shortly after 10,000 letters were sent to people to confirm their residency, several Democrat lawmakers and a civil rights group sued to block the residency checks. Now today, a judge ordered both sides to come up with a compromise. In a packed courtroom, Santa Fe Judge Sarah Singleton ordered the extension of the temporary restraining order issued August 31st. It prevents Governor Susana Martinez's program of randomly checking the addresses of foreign nationals who have New Mexico driver's licenses. The extension is for one more week. That's how much time Singleton is giving both sides to reach an agreement on how the state can investigate license fraud. You have potentially 85,000 people that may be unfairly targeted by this program, and the judge has said this is an unconstitutional program. The state claimed the letters mailed out were sent to random homes, but Judge Singleton is questioning that because all of the letters went to license holders who never provided the state with Social Security numbers. The judge says this could violate the Equal Protection Clause, which covers both citizens and non-citizens. This judge found that there are people in New Mexico that have been unfairly targeted and they've had their constitutional rights violated, and we consider that to be a victory. However, the state also claimed victory after the hearing. The judge recognized that the system has fraud and that we're doing our very best to try to deal with the, the fraudulent issues that have been presented to us. It was ruled that since there's compelling state interest of fraud, the state program can continue to follow up on letters sent to people that came back undeliverable. But together, they need to come up with a different way to combat illegal activity. I have a staff of very competent attorneys, and I'm sure that they will be able to come up with something that uh, we can all live by. The governor, governor's office says about 3,000 letters were returned as undeliverable. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Scotty. Now, the civil rights group who filed the lawsuit says it intends to submit further briefings to the court on the investigation of those 3,000 letters.